Are you paying attention to your retirement accounts? If you're in engineering, you definitely should be because you likely have more income and you're leaving something on the table if you're not giving it the attention it deserves. So I'm not here to offer you strict financial advice, but what I am telling you to do is to go pay better attention. Paying attention is a very common theme on this channel. And what I'm trying to get you to do with this retirement account is to go see, at least do what your company's doing for match. So if you got 401k matching, you're literally throwing away free money. So you should do at least the minimum to get maximum match out of your company, because that's literally free money. I have heard that a lot of companies are making that opt out rather than opt in, which I find is a very nice change of them. But again, you should be paying attention regardless of what sort of communication or whatever your company is doing. You should be paying attention because nobody's coming to save you. And this applies to all aspects of your job and your life. There's nobody coming. You need to figure it out for yourself. I started working right after pensions stopped becoming the norm. So back when I first started, about a dozen years ago now, everyone that I asked that was older than me in the company or, you know, had been there longer. Why are you still here? A lot of them said the pension. And so it's really interesting to see over the last 12 years that company loyalty in all of the large companies is kind of gone because there's nothing really holding you, especially, you know, if you have a vesting period, which basically everywhere has a vesting period in your retirement account. So after three or four years, you could walk away and you get to take everything with you. Now, if you're working at a place where some of your compensations coming through on reserve stock units or something like that, you again should be paying attention. So what are you doing with that? What sort of vesting period is there? What could you be doing after those things are freed up? Now, I don't get those reserve stock units, but I know if I had a big bag of something and I was working for those people and intended to, I would be selling some calls against my holdings. But I don't know how that works and you need to go and pay attention for yourself. Why do I bring this up? Because I was just talking to someone who's quite young when it comes to their career and this no one coming to save you mentality really needs to be instilled earlier and in school. I really feel that the system actually wants us to not pay attention and you are actually incentivized through all of your schooling to almost become a debt slave. That's sort of what it feels like. So this mentality and opening your eyes and paying attention to things is something that you need to do for yourself because again, nobody is coming. And the younger you are, the more the odds are stacked against you these days because the amount of money printing that's going on, the asset holders and the people that are further up in your tech company, everyone is working longer. If you compare this to 30 years ago, everyone is working longer than they used to. So they're working all the way up till they're 70 or even older. And that's not opening up those seats for people to move up in companies. So this is a really rough time to be at those beginning levels in whatever organization that you're in. I think it's gonna only get worse with AI and all of the other things to try to basically automate those lower levels. If you're a younger person, you truly need to be paying attention to whatever retirement accounts, whatever is available to you, and try to get ahead as fast as possible because the money printing is gonna start again. And if you don't have any assets, you're gonna be left behind. What sort of things are you doing with your 401k? I would love to hear below. I know I personally have set up a crypto IRA limited liability corporation where I can actually go get some institutional type accounts with some crypto exchanges where I actually can have crypto in a tax advantage way with much less overhead in terms of fees than something like the Grayscale Bitcoin or all the new Bitcoin ETFs that have recently came out. So what are you doing? I would love to hear in those comments below because that's something that I'm doing and I have people around me either saying, wow, you're a degenerate or cool, how do I do that? And it's very polarizing. I find these things, especially trying to do crypto and retirement accounts, incredibly polarizing. But the rest of my holdings, my retirement account, I've clawed as much as I can in a self-directed account to where I'm effectively able to trade stocks and closed-end funds and things in a tax-advantaged way. And I'm doing it without having to pay the overhead on all those target date funds that are normally what you're pushed towards when you're looking at your 401k at one of the large brokerages. I, I, for one, would really enjoy being able to sell calls against my larger positions in my retirement account. And the fact that I can't 
upsets me just a little bit. So what sort of stuff are you doing with your retirement accounts and are you paying attention? I trust you've been paying attention to this video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.